In this video, I'll show you how you can sell digital products on Wix. Now, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial, and at the end of the video, you should be able to have all of the knowledge to sell your first digital product. So, this is going to be assuming that you've already got a website, and you just want to add a store to it and sell that product. So, I'm going to go and select and edit this website, which happens to be a gardening website I created for another video. But nonetheless, I'm going to go to Edit Site, and we're going to edit this and add a store together. So here I am on this website now. Let's just pretend that this website is fully functional. I know it says it's Knowledge Gardens. It's a bit of a joke website that I created for a video. But we're going to go ahead and add a digital product to this website, and I'll show you how to sell it. So what you want to do is go to Add Elements, and then you want to go to Store, and then Add to Site. And that's going to add an online store to your website. Now just be patient, this could take a while, because Wix is sometimes very slow when adding elements, but just be patient and it will add a Wix store. Now there are a lot of things that you need to get set up here to sell your product, so bear with me and I'll show you what you need to do. So here you can see it's added the store to your website. So this window is going to pop up, you can go and run through this if you want, but what I recommend you do is just make sure that you've got your shop like within the borders, like this is going to be the cart here, which is fine, that can be there. Wix membership area, we don't need, this is for another video. I'm going to delete that and then I'm going to move this menu here over here so we've got shop in view because shop is where your products are going to live. So if we scroll down now, you're going to have all of these example products in your shop. Now if you go to manage products, what I first recommend you do is delete all of the example products. So here in manage products, you want to go ahead and click on this tick and then go to more actions, delete. And that's going to delete all of these example products, which we don't need. Now we can add our first product. So we want to click on new product, digital file. And then from here, we can start to configure the file and build out this product page. So let's say we're a gardening website, right? So let's say I'm selling a course on how to become a gardener. Obviously, you would have a course or a product in mind. It doesn't matter what you're trying to sell. As long as it's a digital product, this video is going to help. So now we can upload a file. So I'm just going to upload a zip file. And again, you're just going to have to ignore the course name and the contents of the course. I'm just going to click on upload media and we'll just find something to upload here as an example. So I'm just going to upload this PSD file. Just pretend that this is a full course on how to become a gardener. Again, you would zip your file. You would make your course properly. And then what you can do is you can go ahead and click add to product. And it's going to then upload that course file to your store. Now scrolling down, you've got the name of your product and the ribbon. So do you want to say here new arrival or updated course? You can also give it a description, the best gardening course. Obviously write your description. This is what's going to help sell your course. So make sure you put effort into this. Now you can also add images and videos. So I'm just going to use Wix's media for this. So we'll go media from Wix and I'll just type in here gardening. We'll just see what we can upload. So I guess we'll run with this one here and then click add to page. So we can upload as many images as necessary. Maybe you have your own custom images that you can go ahead and upload as well as videos. And these are all going to help sell your course. You can also add an info section. And this is going to be where you would add like what file format and what your customers can expect. You can also put this in the description as well. And but it's just more room for you to write stuff here. Now moving on to pricing. Now pricing is going to be in the currency that you've got your store set up in. You can change this somewhere, but I'm not going to cover that in this video. But let's say we want the price to be £97 for a course about gardening. And we can make a sale if we want. So we can give this a discount of 20% and it's going to then show the sale price and our profit. Then scrolling down inventory and shipping, we don't need to cover here because we're not shipping any physical products. You want to make sure showing online store is checked and show in point of sale is also checked. And you can also add this to a group if you've got more than one kind of like category of products. Probably you only have a couple of products anyway. So I'm going to save this and it should then upload this course to our website. Now it's important to note we haven't yet added any payment methods. So we can't actually get paid for this. And it says here you haven't connected a payment method. Customers won't be able to pay you. So you want to go here to add payment method. Now, if this doesn't appear here, just go ahead and go down to settings. And then once you're on settings, you want to click on payments. So accept payments. 
And here you can go ahead and accept payments with credit card, PayPal, and manual payments as well, but I would just recommend these two. So click connect. You can then scroll down and click accept and continue, and you can go ahead and add your credit cards so people can then pay you. Now for this feature, you are gonna to need to upgrade your website, but when you upgrade your website, you're then gonna be able to connect your payment methods. So you can accept all of these, credit and debit card, Apple Pay and Google Pay, and you've also got here PayPal, which you can connect. I think you can connect PayPal without having to upgrade. You are gonna to have to pay these PayPal fees though. So you would enter in your PayPal email address here, then click PayPal, and then you can connect to your PayPal account. So once you've got all of that set up, You've pretty much got your store up and running. You can see here our products page has updated. So here our how to become a gardener course is available. Now I'm going to publish this and we can just preview this together. So now that this is live, we can view this website. So here is our terrible looking website. But if people go to the shop, they'll see our store. And you can customize this as well and this all like you can do normally in Wix. But anyway, here is our product, how to become a gardener. If someone wants to click on that, they could then buy this product. So they will click add to cart and that will then update our cart. They can then click view cart. And once we've added our payment methods, we can then obviously allow people to pay. So they will click check out. And it's saying here we can't accept orders right now. This is because we haven't set up any payment information. Once you've got your payment information set up, Wix will take the payment for you and they will send the digital file to the customer. They will allow them to download it. And it pretty much is that simple. Now you just need obviously a Wix premium plan which you can go ahead and sort out yourself. And that's pretty much the whole process of you selling digital products on Wix. Hope that video was helpful and informative. If you've got any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. And yeah, thank you for watching.